Good evening guys, AC Milan 2, Spezia 1. My word, my word, what a game. We will get into it just now. Uh, Napoli beating Atalanta 2-1 meant that they went nine points clear of Milan. So it was so, so important that Milan won their game against Spezia at home. My word, it looked like the chances that we had in the first half hitting the woodworks how many times goalkeeper saved scrambles off the line we did in the end take the lead with Del Hernandez 1-1 is Joe with me here we just come back from Milan Club London and it was his first time there and what an experience it was what an atmosphere it was at Milan Club London and big up to everyone that made us feel welcome there tonight Joe I'm gonna get your views in just a second um so it was vitally important we took the lead with Patel Hernandez and even though we felt that we was in control at 1-0 the game is never ever quite done in the second half I expected Milan to come out and really steamroll past uh, Spezia but it wasn't to be Spezia actually equalized with probably the the only real um, effort on goal, real proper effort on goal, and out of all people, Daniel Maldini, who I said to you was going to score tonight, I said I got a feeling Maldini is going to score tonight, and right on cue he scored. Silly by our two players, you know, to let him through the way that he they did, but it has to be said it took the goal really, really well, and then in the very end it took right till the end when. Si è girato Giroud, si è girato Giroud. It took his goal, and what a goal it was. Right at the end, Tonali, who he had a goal chalked off by VAR decision that took however long, five minutes to decide in the end it was going to... It was Honestly, VAR refereeing decisions tonight were such poor standards. But in the end, Oliver got the goal to give us all three points and getting himself sent off in the process, forgetting that he had been booked only a few minutes before. Joe, your thoughts on this game? I mean, I've covered a little, the, the, pretty the main parts of the game, but what was your uh, view on the game? Uh, frustrating, very frustrating tonight. But it's good that we managed to get the win, even not playing well. You didn't think we was going to go and get that win tonight, did you? It no. looked like it was going to be 1-1. One, one. You was getting frustrated, I could hear. And I said to you, calma, calma. I think Milan are going to do it in the end. I think we will get that goal. I was going, calma. People don't believe me when I say things like that. I was going, calma, we're going to go and win it. And and he was like, no, nah, we're not going to win it. We've got to be careful that we don't lose it at one point. So, go on, Tom. It was just setting up to be... Like last season, if you remember when we played Spezia at home, yeah. we battered them the whole game. The and the referee was just as shocking as the one today. And they Milan ended up battering Spezia last year, and then they managed to get a counter and they won the game two one. Yeah. So I thought like carbon copy deja vu. But do you, do you think there's a pattern going on with Milan because Torino we wasn't quite at the race. We then stepped it up batter Salzburg at home in the Champions League back to the league against Spezia do you think we have trouble perhaps our approach mental approach is not quite right when we face the so-called little teams who end up giving us a hard time yeah the approach is that there's, def there's definitely a different approach when they play the so-called smaller teams like if you look when we play Inter Juventus even the loss at Napoli that was probably one of our stronger performances this season if you think about it. Yeah. And the approach is there because it's a big game. You want to go out there and win the game. When it comes to the smaller teams, it just feels like we're a couple gears below what Milan are normally at. Yeah. So it's it's frustrating when you're watching the game, especially tonight, when it went to the pretty much the 90th minute for us to win that game, which is a game realistically we should be battering them off the park. It, it took our substitutes. I know CDK, Giroud and Donali all came on. Uh, Donali, I thought, had a really strong, strong half. He, he uh, Such a shame that his goal was yeah. chalked off. Incredible goal. Giroud impacting the game. 
getting us the winner. CDK still trying to find his feet. It's going to take a, a little bit of a while. But in the end, we had to resort into bringing the big boys on to try and resolve the match. And thankfully, it turned out to be that way. Now we, we find ourselves, we got above Atalanta because they obviously lost against Napoli. Mm. We're still six points behind Napoli. Napoli are flying. There's no, there's no, no two ways about it. Um, they We just got to try and remain close. Hopefully they slip up with us winning. We've got a game uh, Tuesday night now against Cremonese. Another mm -hmm. so-called small side. Let's hope the approach is a lot better, no? Yeah. It's going to be a big miss, though, Giroud. He's been playing so well. And Teo Hernandez is suspended Both as well. suspended for that game. So, Balotor is probably going to get a game there. Fantastic. And I think Origi will probably start again yeah. on Tuesday night. But look, we should still have enough about us to see that game through, surely. We should. <laughs> but... You never know, you never know. It's football. It, it's the final week leading up to the World Cup, so we're going to have Cremonese away and then Fiorentina at home Sunday night. But look, tonight we did the job. We got it over the line. We made it hard. We made, definitely made hard work on it. But what counts at the very end that even these ugly, ugly games, they result into a win because at the end of the day, when the game is all said and done, what people will remember is the final score. Yeah. And that, we did it. We got the three points. 2-1 to Milan. Guys, let us know your thoughts. Put it in the comments below. Like the video, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And from myself and Joe here, it's good night. And see you again Tuesday night. Forza. Milan. Forza. Milan. Ale. <laughs> good night, guys. Take care.